I'm here, as promised. But singing, does it mean the chorus is ready? It is assembled. I couldn't have done it without Varl. But I don't know what good it will do. The chorus is in disharmony. The subject of the cave is bad enough. Land God Fa still hasn't emerged, and every day more deadly machines try to force their way out, throwing themselves against the defensive cordon we set up around the entrance. That is only the first of many false notes. Your request has exposed deep divisions within the chorus itself and the tribe. You said you couldn't have assembled the chorus without him. What did you do? Some in the chorus refused to meet to consider your request. They believe that the cave belongs to the land gods alone, but Varl saw that what you did with Ray could be used to our advantage. Sometimes it isn't enough to ask the people in charge. You need others to ask for you. As many as possible. We spread the word about how you soothed Ray? There may even have been a little exaggeration. Growing interest to put pressure on the chorus until they finally agreed to meet. I saw it work a few times with the matriarchs, and even with my mother, once or twice. Nice job. You can handle the politics from now on. Oh, no. <laughs> cut, cut, cut from time to time. They so cute. So what happened to the land gods after the derangement? They faltered year by year. Once they were peaceful, and now they turn on us when we approach. Even attack us. They had always enriched the soil, but for several seasons they've glutted it endlessly with mulch. The fields have turned fetid. A, a blight that, that keeps spreading, even beyond our lands. We used to have food for all. Now we barely have enough to feed our children. Must be over fertilization spread by spores. I don't know. That's not even the end of it. Each land god used to visit the sacred cave once a year, but no longer. Without the rituals of renewal, they're falling apart. Like Ray. They're dying. In my tribe with them. So, the chorus is assembled. What now? They're considering your request. Then, shouldn't we go talk to them? When you're ready. But, don't worry. Their debate won't end anytime soon. Meetings like these can go on for days. <sighs> All right. Then maybe I should resupply first. Who knows how many machines are in that cave? Assuming the chorus agree to allow you inside. Aloy can be pretty convincing in these situations. We'll see. Do what you need to prepare. We'll wait for you above, where the chorus has gathered. Y'all sound beautiful. Maybe she want to download the soundtrack.
guess that means the chorus is still in session. The people sing to soothe the chorus, to help them break their impasse. It wouldn't be necessary if they were in harmony. I'm not gonna have to sing back, am I? Of course not. The singing will stop when we present ourselves. Are you ready? All right, let's go talk to them. I love the singing. It's beautiful. Sacred cave. There's something inside I need. If I can get it, it so, will help. and the Nora have spread word of your story and what you want. We know of no spirit in the cave, only Fa, our land god, who entered the cave and did not return. The power of the land gods is broken. We are diminished. Tales of spirit will not help us. Nothing will. We weaken. We die. And become fertile ground for new life. This is the natural order. Yes. Wait. You're all just going to sit around? Until you become food for worms? Literally? So says the Outlander. Ignorant of our beliefs. Please, remember how she brought peace to Ray. Listen to her. We've heard such temerity from you before, Zoe. Let us not forget that you agitated for reckless war against the Kaja. At least she's trying to help. How? By inviting you to break our traditions? Should we change our ways to suit every impudent outsider who wanders into plain song? No. You should change your ways because your own lands are killing you. She has a point. We have stood by and watched as our land gods waste away. You would have us do the same with our neighbors, our children. And this lone outlander can save us. Nonsense. A single seed matters little in the infinite cycle of growth and decay. An alarm. It's coming from the mountains. This is an interesting world. It's an alarm! Machines must have broken through the cordon. Then we need to get down there. What about the chorus? If the cordon has fallen, there's nothing left to prevent us from going in the cave. The time for permission is over. Then off we go. This way, out the gate and around. This is what I'm talking about. Hope I'm prepared. <laughs> I enjoyed a beautiful scene, by the way.
do something about all of this. All right. Um, yeah. Machines. These machines are stronger, deadlier than me. There's more than just mineral oil in the same way I'm caught in that case. Man again, Are you okay? Trail is the path of the land gods. It'll lead us to the court. More machines. We can take them out, Aloy. On your lead. Slash Lego race. Right, right. Get up these arrows. We're almost there. So many machines broke through. What happened to the Gordon's defenders? We better be ready for anything. Gordon. Oh, what's 
what's left of it. So many there. They will be more when the time is right. For now, we must keep going. Into the cave. This will be in my stash when I need it. This is also beautiful. Very beautiful. What is this? A uh, uh, kind, kind of, of wall. Made of it. Might be. We'll have to find a way around. We'll follow you in the Up here! Up here! this place. Wow, look at that. The machines build these? Yo, this is awestruck amazing. It's like Transformers in Terminator. But no, oh my god, what is that?
looks like one, but if the land gods come and go, then they aren't just made here. They're being repaired too. And the spirit you're after is in here. Maneuver? Maybe, but I have a feeling. <laughs> How beautiful this looks. They're like an infection. That thing I sent that wants us dead. It takes over places like these and makes killing machines. It's called a Festus. Even the amount of is brought into the birds. <sighs> looks like those cables are blocking the way up. You two wait here. I'll find another path. Okay. I'm confused! I was supposed to get up there. That 
Okay, now I see. So, so can you, can stand, you stand, on stand on that panel? Like this? Like this? Good, good. Stay, stay there. there. Their box somewhere. That looks breakable. What if I shoot that? Oh. Working on it. This crate should be heavy enough. Guess I asked about a question. Can't fit the crate through that opening. later. This game is pretty dope, man. I love the level designs in this game.
appears I need another heavy counterweight. It's okay, hold on. I know sometimes it gets very challenging in video games, so I know why it wants me to think. So what if I shoot? Tricky. Alright, hold on. I'm gonna get that one right there. are twisted around that node on the other side. I'll see if I can get to it. I almost fell. And also, this is such a squint-eyed game because the HDR is so dynamically bright on my TV, beautifully, and the dark shadows and everything, and the colors and everything is so vivid. It's the only good game that I squinted <laughs> throughout. I am not that close to TV. Uh... it in. That's what she said. Thank you. <laughs> Come on over, you two. Wait, how are they coming over? Oh, okay, it's like a little bridge that's easy for them. Get to that node on the other side. 
say there's a platform down there. I think I can reach it if I grab it. There's still no sign of it. It's a big place. Keep looking at Hope I got a good aim. I was playing on it. I first I had to jump on out of thing. see what it has become. If one of our gods attacks them, you know what we have to do. Bar, are you ready? You gotta do what you gotta do.
That dome of light. Is it protecting the machine? Yeah. There should be a node I can override nearby to shut it down. Oh crap, I gotta kill that. <laughs> machine that nearly killed us it's still her god i do not grieve for a god or a machine but because i no longer know what to believe look so if you want you can go back home do i still have one and if so for how long can you really heal our lands save my people Oh. 
Up we go. But there's more. Like Aloy said, this is only the beginning. Justice has been upgrading the security grid in the Not sure I can do much about that right now. And my focus doesn't recognize some of these. Must be machines I haven't seen yet. Got what you need? Yes. Let's press on now. Yeah, this is good. This is very, very good. Sound good. Was that the spirit, Minerva? I, I don't think so. At least, not directly. Attention, all personnel must vacate the facility immediately. Something doesn't want us here. What exactly was this place? Seen anything like it before? No. There. That's our way out. lights work what just happened Minerva's definitely here and I think it's trying to keep us out I'll scout ahead see if there's a way to get us in you sure we shouldn't come with you well, yeah Minerva could be dangerous let me make sure it's safe okay we'll be right here if you need us Red. Uh, can I just climb down here? Yeah. Climb the elevator shaft. Up, right? Are you doing okay, so? Okay. So? All this. Minerva. Hephaestus. Gaia. This is what will help heal Plainsong? It's hard to explain. I mean, I barely understand it, but yeah. It's what Aloy's been looking for this whole time. Okay, I need to find where Minerva's hiding. I should look for a way to access the facility systems. Don't 
think I'm getting through that door right now. I should turn back, see what else I can find. What are all those cables in the center for? The nerve is shutting me out. It looks like those cables connect to something above. Seems promising, if I can find a way up there. Locked. This is like I gotta like find like a switch for the door. Like this this might be like a data, data, data store, store, but I don't, I don't see, see a way to access the system. system. I'm gonna keep looking. looking. Vents to the top. Right? Up. Ah, okay, here we go. That answers my question. Yeah. <laughs> Told you this game is so vivid. Ooh, my eyes. Alright. Oh, my eyes are normal now. <laughs> to cooperate. I can merge it with Gaia. Finally bring her back. And we can start fixing the blight, the storms, and maybe she can help me figure out who those strangers in the Proving Lab were. Why did they have a clone of Elizabeth? Why did they want it back up? to glide to that ledge.
we have to go like all the way down. Uh, let's see. Where am I supposed to go all the way up? Okay, uh, so, ouch, I almost caught a cramp on my toe. Wow, oh, I have some more potassium. Um, <laughs> don't mind me of that. Uh, okay, I'm just climbing, just climbing and just sharply detailed. Uh, game here. I think I need to go to that ledge. Pipes up there. Might need to be to way back in. Okay, so I need to get up there. What the? Ah! Movements, man. Can't climb up there. Uh, this is getting annoying. I got to climb up here, man, again. Uh, maybe I'll just fast forward towards the moment when this live is over with. Uh, where I really made it. Try it again, dog, gone it. Okay, so just climb right there, Denzel. Focus. 
focus. I feel so dumb now. Some of those rocks look loose. I think I can clear them. Another shaft. See how long that took me. Okay, now I found a way to plug into this place. Plug it in, plug it in. You're like a big giant super brain. Okay, the soldiers turn blue. Looks like some kind of dome. I wonder what it's for. for. Minerva, I need the console. Please. Access the I said, come on, Minerva. We travel all this far, and I climbed all the way to the to be like... Do you remember it? Anything? You were part of something bigger once. Something good. Gaia. That's right. She can live again. But only if you give her the chance. I can't reboot her without you. I... Cease. I think you'll disappear into her. Become part of her. Like you used to be. That's okay. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, Minerva. Elizabeth Sobek. Alpha Prime. Master override activated. Restoring Minerva function to original code. To initiate heuristic matrix? Here goes. Oh, wow. I saw her past memories with her father and so, so it is Aloy. Wow. Elizabeth, we have much to discuss, but initialization of my heuristic matrix will not be complete for several minutes more. In the meantime, I suggest you familiarize yourself with this facility. It is our best option for a base of operations, and you can make use of its equipment to improve your ability to override machines. Um yeah, yeah, that, that sounds good. That sounds excellent. Your companions. They will be here shortly. Um, okay, but don't overwhelm them, okay? They don't have a lot of experience with things like, well, you.
Uh, so no fake this time? No. This time she's real. Borrow? So? This is Gaia. Hello. Hi. Hi. Gaia's still, uh, waking up. Let's look around. I will highlight the location of the lab on your focus. I have established a network between your focuses, allowing you to communicate when apart. Good. So what was this place? A regional control center, where Zero Dawn progeny would have overseen terraforming operations in the area. I want to talk to Gaia. She seems interesting. I'm I'm impressed with this world. As a first time player and learning this world. Okay. Never mind. You, you just seem very interesting. Just seem very interesting. Okay, I don't know what was that, but okay. What's all this? This was intended as the main gathering space for control center operatives. You could fit a good number of people in here. So this was supposed to be... a lab. That was its intended purpose. Some of the machine data you recovered from the repair bay below us appears to be corrupted. Accessing the terminal in this room will show you how to repair and complete the override. I'll take a look. Huh. Looks like I need data from machine parts to fix the corrupted override. My initialization is complete. You may continue to explore the facility, Aloy. When you are ready, ready to return, return to the control, 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 control room, room. Absolutely. we will have much to discuss. Procedure room, dude. Looks like Correct. Like like right. The facility was designed with a number of private offices. I guess it's nice to have a space to call your own. This would have been an access point for advanced training modules on terraforming operations. Unfortunately, those modules were deleted when the Apollo database was destroyed. That's too bad. What's this space for? This would have been the sleeping quarters for control center operatives. Reminds me of the bedhouse aspirants had to sleep in the night before the proving. Hey Gaia? Why doesn't this door have power? At my current operating level, I am only able to restore functionality to part of this facility. In time, that may change. Got it. Through that door is a trail that leads towards Plainsong. So I can head back east if I need to, once we're done here. Correct. Okay. Maybe it's time to talk to Gaia. I'll leave you to it. Hello, Aloy. Uh, hi. So you're... Ready? Yes. Initialization is complete. All tests show that my heuristic matrix launched correctly and is stable. You must have many questions. Yeah. But two big ones first. We're not gonna be able to fix the biosphere without making you whole. I ran a search for your subfunctions at the Hades Proving Lab, but... Minerva was the only one I found. Thankfully, the sensory capabilities of this facility are far more advanced. I will search for the others now. Transmitting query pattern. Receiving. A 
of Apollo, Artemis, and Aluthia, I can find no trace. They are simply gone. What about the others? Ether, Demeter, and Poseidon are revealed. They lie within reach. Procurable. And Hephaestus? It too stands revealed, but it is not like the others. <laughs> That's for sure. In the years since the extinction signal, Hephaestus has evolved. Moreover, it is not confined to a single location. It haunts the global network that connects cauldrons to each other across the planet, making it exceptionally difficult to subdue. Let me guess. We need it bad? Correct. Its capabilities are essential. Without it, I can only delay the extinction of life on Earth. Hephaestus is our only hope of a permanent solution. So we start there? Unfortunately, we cannot. Procuring Hephaestus can only be attempted after my own capabilities have been significantly enhanced. Grab the other subordinate functions first, then Hephaestus. Precisely so. So, Aether, Demeter, and Poseidon. How do I capture them? To recover a subordinate function, you will have to travel to its location and find the physical processor to which it escaped. Then, exactly as you did with Minerva, you must use the master override to revert the subordinate function to its original code state. And then how do I get it back here? The subordinate function must be loaded onto a data storage device and physically carried back to this facility. The cartridge your root kernel was stored on? Yes. Its capacity is limited, so it can only carry one subordinate function at a time. But in all other respects, it will suffice. <laughs> like, I'm so invested. <laughs> like, a while ago, I had a this is amazing. Strangers who tried to kill me. They had machine servitors and a, um, a, a clone of Elizabeth Sobek with them. Yes, this was recorded by your focus. Do you know who they are? The answer to that question is related to the extinction signal that woke Hades, prompting my predecessor's self-destruction. The extinction signal? Okay, that sounds ominous. The signal did not come from Earth, Aloy. The calculations are complicated, but it appears to have originated 81 trillion kilometers away. A distance so vast that light itself requires 8.611 years to cross it. What? That is... Wow. So, what's so far away and, and why does it want us dead? The Sirius star system. Sirius? But that's where Far Zenith, their ship... The Odyssey. Yes, that's where it was headed. But it blew up. Unless... Uh, I don't... Why make it seem like they failed? They didn't want anyone to know. They didn't that's what I was thinking. Think that they that's what I was thinking. There. Wow. Wow. The strangers who tried to kill me at the Hades Proving Lab? The ones with the clone? Are you saying that they're from... That they're descendants of... Far Zenith? Yes. That is my conclusion. Wow. Wow. <laughs> oh, yes. Ah, uh, question about Samir Shortis. Get started by his fair. Yeah, let's go over to Zentinus. 
The sole purpose of the signal was to destroy life on Earth, right? Why would descendants of Far Zenith want to do that? At this point, we can only speculate. I mean, Earth posed no threat to them. We don't have the technology to get in their way. We didn't even know about them. True. Unless... Well... Could it be that they want the planet for themselves? The strangers I ran into, they were after a Gaia backup of their own. I mean, if they did that... If they booted their own Gaia and boosted her power... Until she could take control of Hephaestus... And then the whole terraforming system... Then yes, the system could be used to do what the extinction signal failed to accomplish. Snuff out life. And then, potentially, to build an entirely new biosphere. To their specifications. So they could be trying to do the same thing we are. But with opposite results. Extinction. Instead of salvation. Well, this is not good. You said Sirius is... really far from Earth. 81 trillion kilometers, or 8.611 light years. Right. So, how would the Descendants have gotten here? On a spacecraft much like the Odyssey, though significantly more advanced. The journey from Earth to Sirius would have taken the Odyssey almost 300 years. This appears to have been much faster. Wow. So it's, it's, it's like they're light distance away from their descendants from somebody who's probably still on the first game, but I'm really shocked. Um, that is, this is very interesting. The journey was even faster. A mere 13 years. Or 0.662. Okay, enough. You're making my head spin. The descendants I ran into at the Hades Proving Lab, they... They had a clone... of Elizabeth Sobek. So that's consistent with the idea that they came here to salvage Zero Dawn technologies, right? Yes. As your own experience demonstrates, a clone of Elizabeth Sobek functions in effect as a key to the terraforming system. But... how could they have made a clone? The Odyssey carried approximately 200,000 human zygotes, millions of animal zygotes, and billions of plant seeds. It is conceivable that Elizabeth Sobek's genetic material was sampled. Like Noah's Ark, they like carry the whole world. That's... Okay, but... I mean... This, this clone... How could she participate in this? Destroying Elizabeth's dream? It's... It's evil. It is difficult to know. Perhaps she is loyal to the group and shares their objectives. Or perhaps she is a subordinate and has no choice but to comply with their orders. Elizabeth Sobek? A subordinate? I don't think so. What is the state of the biosphere? Is the terraforming system functioning at all? In a sense, the terraforming system never stopped functioning. The difference, since my predecessor's destruction, is that there has been no central governing intelligence to monitor its robotic agents and assign new tasks. As a result, errors have accrued, and day by day, the biosphere has gradually veered ever more sharply towards destruction. In recent months, disturbances in the biosphere have become obvious. But these bellwether phenomena offer just the merest glimpse of the complex and accelerating cycles of environmental dysfunction, now driving Earth's biosphere towards collapse. And you can't do anything to stop it? If you can return Aether, Poseidon, and Demeter to me, I can improvise modest corrections to parts of the system. Weather will improve, water will be purified, and rampant plant growth curtailed. But such corrections will not stave off collapse, they will only buy us time. 
Only with Hephaestus can I design and produce new robotic agents designed to permanently reverse the damage that has accumulated. All efforts must be directed toward that end. Interesting. All right, one more question and then we'll let's get started. How long do we have then? At present rates, without additional factors. The biosphere will cross a point of no return in approximately four months. And if I gather Ether, Demeter, Poseidon, merge you with them? We will only gain a few months more. Well, every bit counts. I guess I should get going and start bringing back subordinate functions. Yes. Once we have them, we can focus on the reacquisition of Hephaestus. When that is achieved, I will have complete control of the Zero Dawn system and the ability to produce as many machines as needed to defeat the Far Zenith threat. An army of machines. Sounds like a plan. So, the three procurable subfunctions. What can you tell me about their locations? When my predecessor destroyed herself, the subordinate function sought physical processors capable of holding them. So in each case you will be looking for a powerful computer of some kind. Ether is the closest, and therefore might be the easiest to acquire. However, it appears to be in the middle of Tanakh territory. My knowledge of that tribe is limited to data I read on your focus but they seem to have a significant inclination towards violence. Well, that's a nice way to put it. What about Poseidon and Demeter? Poseidon has taken shelter in the desert south of this location. My substratal geography data indicates that a major old world settlement called Las Vegas was located there. A ruin, a ruin in, the in the middle of the desert, desert huh? Las Vegas! Strange, Strange place. place. AI devoted to water. Agreed. As for Demeter, it appears to be located on the coast to the far west. Unfortunately, I am unable to provide any relevant data about the region. As such, it may be the most difficult to retrieve. Okay, so three subordinate functions to go after. Aether, somewhere in Tanakh's territory, Poseidon in the desert, and Demeter on the coast. Where will you begin? Ah, where to start? Well, I have to look down all these levels. Okay, I think we will choose the Ether, the Dark World of Thor. I think, I think I'll, I'll have, have your ether. ether. Then I will assign Ether as the objective on your focus. If you obtain it, I may be able to use it to quell the most severe storms in the region. Though I will require Hephaestus and the control over machines that it offers to permanently stabilize the biosphere. Should you change your mind, you can update your objective via your focus interface at any time. I will also transmit a summary of available data on all of the subordinate functions to you for reference. Is there anything else I can help you with? I know you have a great deal to accomplish. I do, don't I? Is something wrong? Um... I don't know. It's just that... Elizabeth set the bar pretty high. She had a dream for you, for life on Earth, and... A lot has gone wrong, and it's all on my shoulders to fix it. Do you think I can do it all? Repair the system? Defeat Varzenith? Live up to her example? Absolutely. In her last message, my predecessor declared her unwavering conviction in your success. In you, all things are possible. You prevailed in purging Hades and rebooting my system core. You will prevail in this. Thank you, Kaya. Well, I, uh, I guess I should get going. I have unlocked the facilities. That is very inspirational. The other leads back down the mountain to Plain Song, should you wish to return east. Barl? Whoa! Gonna have to get.
get used to that. That's you, Aloy? Uh, yeah. Guy has opened the exits to this place. Can you and Zoe meet me by the west door? Be right there. Okay. I need to bring Ether back for Gaia. Varl and Zoe are waiting for me by the west exit. But I could head back east first. Check on how Plainsong's doing after the attack. Or I could also look around here some more. Right. I think it'll be better this way. After you, Aloy. Man, look how beautiful that is. Very pretty. I need to head further west. To, um, get more of Gaia's components. Make her stronger. You two can stay here in the meantime. And Gaia can help get you up to speed. I'm not trying to shut you out. This, it's like... training. Actually... I'm gonna go back east to get Erend. Bring him here. Look, allies, friends, can help. We have a place to stay now. And like you said, Gaia can teach us, catch us up. It'll be okay. Okay. Take these, then. One to wear, one for backup. Are you going with him? No. After what happened in the cave below, I want to stay here a while. There is much I need to understand. Maybe by the time you get back, I'll have a thing or two I can teach you. Looking forward, Looking forward to, to it. it. Yeah. When will when you be back? back? I'm, uh, I'm not sure. But hopefully I'll have one of Gaia's missing components with me. Be careful out there. Even in Plainsong, we heard how the Tanakh clanlands are suffering from storms, machines, and now Regala. Don't worry about me. I'll be fine. Good hunting, Aloy. The Tanakh clanlands. Somewhere out there's three of Gaia's subfunctions. And who knows what else. No crunch under my boots. You! Let me take a look at you, Great. 